Some of the stats there with, with Gavin and what Cameron put up and what Pierce was able to do too. It starts on the mound, and I think a lot of guys have to be uh, kind of have rubber arms coming out of the bullpen at the same time. Were you pleased with the pitching this year? Uh, early on, we, uh, as we said, we started with kids that never pitched before, uh, and that developed throughout the year, and our pitching staff has definitely come along uh, and got a lot more innings. Uh, Bilbo's been strong for us. Uh, you know, Gavin's got 40 innings in him now. Bilbo's right there with 39. Uh, so being able to stretch those arms and reduce reduce our balls and increase our strikes has made us uh, uh, made us successful. Now, if you look at the offensive side of things, of course, you can't win the game without scoring runs. And if you look at hitting, I guess being kind of a science and an art, one of the things I always try to work with guys on at the high school level is having a level swing and just making sure it stays on a level plane, uh, not taking too much of a stride, but keeping the hands in the right place, throwing the hands to the zone, and just trying to hit the ball where it is pitched. Uh, was that kind of your approach this season? Yes, sir. Uh, and that's... Hitting is hard at any level, uh, whether it's at this level or at the pro level, uh, and trying to find a swing that curtails and fits each individual kid, because it's not a cookie cutter, you know, pro a project. You gotta see what the kid has naturally, and then try to find a spot to get him to make him successful. Now you guys have uh, the next tournament coming up. You mentioned the Baseball Nation tournament, uh, July 18th through the 24th, out there at Ford Park. Uh, what are some of the expectations, or do you know a lot about some of the teams that are going to be participating in that tournament? Uh, we just know we have teams coming from.